This is Trojan News. Welcome to this edition of Trojan News. I'm Edgar. And I'm Hugo. And we'll be your host for today. Journalist Karen Sir begins our broadcast with a preview of the girls' basketball team and their upcoming winter season. The Worthington girls' basketball team is preparing and hoping for a great season. Back up, Rick. Back up, Rick. One more time. New girls basketball head coach CJ Nelson is here to help the girls have a great season. He feels that it will be a process, yet rewarding. The girls are new to me and I'm new to the girls, so we can't just uh, throw everything them at them at once. It's just going to be a gradual process, but um, I think there's some good things that we can do. A senior basketball player who is focused on maintaining a positive experience for a team is Naomi Gora. What I can do is continue to stay positive through the good and the bad, through our games, our practices, even off the court as well. Um, I can continue to show encouragement as well. Coach Nelson also notes on how coaching has impacted his relationships within the community. I just enjoy the relationships that I've got to build over uh, my time at Minnesota West, and I look forward to building some of those here at, at uh, Worthington High School as well. Sports like basketball have proven to be both important and impactful for those who participate. It's exciting but also emotional because I've been playing basketball since fourth grade, but I think it's exciting too because I'm a senior and it's going to be my last year playing high school basketball. Between a new season and a new coach, hopes are high for a strong record and a positive experience. Be sure to get out and support the girls basketball team. This has been Corinne Sir reporting for Trojan News. I hope their season goes great. Yeah, especially with the new coach and graduating seniors. I have hope that everything goes smoothly. Our next story is on the Rebels with the Cause Fashion Show reported on by Kaye. November 18th marked the first and hopefully annual fashion show put on by Ari Vision, a nonprofit created by Suri Song Pammy Wong. This year's show theme is Rebels with the Cause and was hosted at Lerma's Event Center from 6 to 8 p.m. While fashion is the focus of the show, the tensions go beyond that. Suri, the director and mastermind of the show, wanted the show to provide opportunities for local students and adults to experience art and how it can create a positive impact on mental health. I really want to do two things um, for the kids. I want them to feel empowered. I know a lot of the kids really want to get into the creative fields like fashion, art, more of like the creative scene, but there's not opportunities around here. I want to show them that this is a good start and that they can go after their dreams and that it's possible. And then for the adults, I really want to encourage them to be more open-minded and accepting of the new cultures and the new you know, youth and their ideas and to really foster young minds. This year theme is Rebels with a Cause, a theme that has multiple meanings. I picked um, Rebels with a Cause because I feel like all of us are kind of rebels in our own way. And I really want to, uh, I think it sounds really cool. And then like, I, I want to encourage all of us to really dig deep into our passion and showcase what our cause is. A true fashion show wouldn't be a show without models. Um, I picked my models two ways. So like for the youth selection, we um, advertised and promoted at the Worthington High School. So we just, you know, put flyers up and then just spread word of mouth and whoever showed up and then they just kind of tell their friends. And then for the adult selection, um, there were mainly models from Sioux Falls. I paired with a company called The Medium Agency. There are six students from Worthington High School participating in the show. Each model was asked to reflect on something that they find themselves in. In other words, their cause. My cause is music because I really like singing and listening to music. Every time like when I'm sad, I just listen to music because it really helps me bring the mood up. A big part of the fashion show is to help raise awareness around mental health and how people can use different forms of art to help them. Mului gives insight on how the show will help others. It's going to help people be more open about their mental health. That's what I think. 
The clothes in the fashion show all include a piece of art designed by Suri. Each model was able to pick which one of her designs helped best showcase their cause. My favorite part of helping out with the fashion show is the clothes designing, like uh, fabrics we cut. Modeling in the show can be rewarding, but also has its own challenges. While fun, finding the right clothing and artwork to match each model's style and cause was one of the challenges. I think the clothing, because some of them, it did not really match me that much until like they had to figure out what like matched me and what really brought like me out to like show what I really liked and stuff. After hearing and watching all the preparations for the fashion show, what do you like to partake in with yourself? This has been K for Trojan News. It looked like a fun show. Yeah, I'm bummed I missed it. I hope I can go to next year's show. I wonder what the new theme will be. AirPods have been controversial among staff and students ever since they started to be used. A. Claire goes more in depth on this topic by talking with different teachers and students at WHS. AirPods, there's pros and cons to them. Do they belong in WHS? Ever since WHS began to permit students to carry personal item devices to classrooms, teachers has implemented their rules for them. AirPods for a long time has been a talking point for educators as there's been a increased usage of them. Mr. Hastings, a staff member of Worthington High School, explained that there's has been discussions about the policy with earbuds in the class. I think so, yeah. We've 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 done policies with earbuds, we've talked about cell phone use as well. We've just done a, a survey with our, our, our teachers about policy and um, things that if it needs to be revised, um, restricting more of the use of either cell phones or earbuds um, in in classrooms. I, I think it's something that we continue to struggle with a little bit here on what um, we allow and don't allow in school when it comes to some of these devices. But in regards to AirPods, according to Dr. Lushix at the University of Massachusetts, his research indicates that those who listen to music completed their task more quickly and had better idea than those who didn't. WHS students saw Flores supports Dr. Lushik's studies with his claim. Um, I don't really think it affects much of my working ability. If anything, it makes me work even better. I like to listen to music when I do my work. It really helps me concentrate and really, you know, focus on my work. Mr. Barraro, a history teacher at WHS, gives an example of how AirPods should be utilized and why he used it during a certain period. I explain myself. For example, uh, when I go to the gym or when I'm doing some physical activity, it's important uh, to focus. And I think the headphones or AirPods help us uh, concentrate or focus on what we are doing. Whether you wear AirPods or not, AirPods will be around school for many years to come unless something down in the line replaces them. This has been a Claire for Trojan News. Hugo, do you think AirPods belong in school? I don't know. There seems to be some issues with them in the classroom. Yes, but there are also some positive uses too. It's hard to know what's best. But sometimes most can't argue against is that AirPods are used for working out. Here's Freddie Gonzalez to share how working out is both a hobby and a part of the school day for some. Have you ever wondered what workout options are offered at WHS and what you might expect? Alex Galvis and Christian Martinez share their experiences about Health You and Total Fit, two workout-focused classes offered at WHS. I heard it was about working out every day, which encouraged me to take the class, and I'll be in a healthy state. Even though it's more individual work, friendships are formed from the shared experience. Always positive. There's always someone there, you know, help you keep pushing. There is a variety of reasons to take the class, but at the forefront, it is focused on personal health. So I took this class because I wanted to be more fit, and I feel like this class helped me be more fit. Total fit, you do more conditioning, while in Healthy U is mostly working out. Mr. Lender, Health U teacher, shares his expertise on the different class options available to students that want to exercise. 
Uh, your options are the Healthy You class and the Total Fit class. Um, you can also work out before and after school. Healthy You is more of a cardio class. Um, you do more cardiovascular workouts. You do do some weightlifting, but Total Fit is more so weightlifting and speed workouts. Knowing the difference between classes, the teachers have also noticed changes to students' performance. Yes. Um, especially in this class, at the beginning, some kids don't understand how hard they have to work. Um, it's good to see the progress and seeing them work harder um, and figure out uh, how to work hard in this class. Michael Murray, in the AWHS senior, took his experience on working out and reflect on how it improves his self outlook. I don't feel. I feel like it just gives me a boost of energy whenever I start working out and. Uh, you know, it makes me feel better a little bit about myself. The weight room at the high school is limited due to size and equipment. However, it is still widely used by students, athletes, and teachers because of its accessibility of it. Michael prefers the high school over the gym. Uh, I feel like it's a waste of money to work at a gym. I mean, there's more equipment over there, but over here is pretty much the same stuff. You can do the same things, and it's great. Linder also feels like the space limits the weight room capacity. If had more space, maybe that would uh, encourage others to join. After hearing all about your options here offered at WSS, start working out. This has been Fernando Gonzalez for Children News. Working out is growing in popularity due to influencers and people wanting to prove themselves. If you're watching Trojan News, this, this has been, been Hugo and Edgar. See you next time.